Good morning, it's Thursday, live with Dr. JJ from the Anim Care Prayer Corner. A reading from James. Not many of you should become teachers, my brothers and sisters, for you know that we who teach will be judged with greater strictness, for all of us make many mistakes. When we wander and wonder in life, the gift of speaking, but better still, the gift of listening and learning from each other begins with closing our mouths and opening our ears. What makes language so powerful? Or to use James's phraseology, what makes it possible for a member of the body as small as the tongue to boast of such great exploits? James lays out two reasons for its power. First, language acts as a kind of representational catalyst. It is a small and even ephemeral thing that makes big things possible. Second, language can be a wild thing. Wilder even than any small animal species. It does great good and great harm, and then reveals how much it is, caught up in the evil of human sinfulness. Perhaps become wise means, at least in part, learning how to use language in ways that are both increasingly playful and increasingly pure, both admitting of many mistakes and resisting the many temptations that to make them. Today, read a favorite poem and enjoy language used well. And God creation became into being through your word and your words that alone is enough reason to cherish words as a means of bringing life to the world. Amen.